Hello YouTube. This video is entitled Kaizen BioCube Crazy Mods. Kaizen is a Japanese word that means continuous improvement. When you see how I'm running this tank, you'll see why I mean that. First, let's look at the tank and see how everything's doing. As you can see, everything is pretty much pretty happy. All right, We've got got some clownfish, got a torch there, some hammer, rock spawn, got some mushrooms, we got uh, anemones here, Duncans. I started off with three heads, now I got like ten, I think. Got some uh, more zoanthids. I don't know what that white one is. I got, I just bought it. it looked nice, so I bought it. And uh, more zoanthids. <clears throat> and let's see, here's all my fish. Of course, I made everything myself, so it's pretty, pretty uh, low budget here. So I made this here, this contraption here that will feed the fish here, automatic feeder. You know, drops the food in that little. I didn't buy a ring. I, I think I, I like this better because it drops just a little bit of food. Cat, cat full size. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the lights so I can show you everything that I've made, all the improvements that I made also. Well, I first started off with the um, <clears throat> regular bio cube, had a regular lid. Eventually, you know, I, I started looking at more videos and, and I thought to uh, upgrade. So I bought one of those Chinese black boxes, all right? And uh, I made this, I figured, you know, either I'm gonna hang it on the wall or hang it back there, but it's gonna have a lot of bleed out. So I went ahead and built this contraption here. It's made out of Lexan covered in black tape. Okay, but then a few months later, I went ahead and spent some more money and bought me an FIA Prime. Okay, so let's look at this here. All right, but what really stands out on this tank is the way that the uh, flow is coming through here. Let me show you how what I mean by that. All right. Okay, here's some more. So everybody's pretty happy. So the basic setup I have here is like nobody is, well, I've seen a lot of videos and nobody is really doing what I'm doing here. So basically, water comes back to the chamber here, the back chamber. It goes up the channel there. All right. Now I have a siphon break about two inches above the water, I'm sorry, below the water level. Uh, here's another item that I've made. Okay, here's a toothbrush. Get to stir the bottom. And I bought a lot of this rigid tubing. Comes in really handy. I have a siphon break about an uh, inch below the water line. So it's about two gallons, two and a half, maybe three the most. Because I'm running it all the way from the bottom. Now you've got here's a siphon break, and then right here is your siphon starter. So then it flows in here. I can regulate the water to fine tune it. There's a shutoff valve. Okay, and then it goes into this homemade uh, strainer that I made, a little filter plus thing. So that's kind of like a um, one of those uh, air freshener canisters. And you can see, look how close my water level is from spilling over to the other side. I'm going to switch over to the other side so you can see what's going on. Alright, water drops in there. There's a filter floss there. I got a little carbon right there, a little, little bit of carbon. I got a um, protein skimmer. It doesn't really skim very much, but I got one. Then it drops into this other filter floss filter and then I got a bunch of chato here now I let my chato build up and as a form of more like I don't know filter floss I would say I got some sand mixed in with uh, miracle mud see I got pods there all right and then it doesn't flow over it flows through those holes right there into Live rock, got some matrix, got some dead corals, dead coral skeleton, and then it flows into more filter floss. It goes under into the return pump. Now see those lines there? The blue one represents 
a level that the uh, water flows perfectly. If it gets below the red line, first red line, which is it, it'll pump water from the tank into that little one gallon reservoir. If it goes above the red, red, it'll start pumping water up to the tank. Okay, so it goes up this hose here. More filter plus. Got one, two, three sections of matrix. Then I built another refugium here because the one on the bottom, the pods couldn't get up. With all the filtration that's going on, pods are having a hard time getting into the main display. And I got a couple of mandarins that are in there right now. So it goes to Chato, and then it goes into another sponge, and then goes up to the main display, back there. Here's my top off, <coughs> right there. That's the uh, pump that pumps water back into the tank. Okay. Now I added this. I had that leftover light from the original biocube, so I added it to the top. That way, can I can see a little bit of what's going on back here. All right. This guy's going to sleep, I think. All right. Let's show you the. Uh, and as you can see, there's my brains of the operation right there. You'll hear it click on, click off, basically keep the balance of the uh, water level and the uh, return pump. Okay, so as you can, I'm also working to uh, start dosing. Okay, here's my uh, top off. I'm starting to fill it up because it's Friday. I usually do it on Fridays, so I let it drain. <coughs> I put a uh, float valve right here so it fills up to this level here right when it cuts that it cuts off now what I also done is right here as you can see the valves here I got the top off and I labeled the bucket so what I'll do is I'll shut off the, the top off and if I want to run the bucket I got this thing here now I'll put this into just like this into a five gallon bucket it'll fill up to five gallons and then shut off. That way I can do other things and not worry about overspilling. Another thing that I want to show you guys is I'm gonna put the camera down because everybody's gonna want one is gonna want one of these, alright? So let's see what Alright what this is here this is like uh, automatic uh, turkey baster. Basically, the water comes in here, goes to that little pump there, and voila, I'm able to blow everything off really good, right? See that? Let me get more action here, that way you can see the pump. See that? See the move in there? No, you can't see it. Anyways, yeah. A lot of power to that. Set this down. I'll set it here for now. Now, I also want to show you that this is going to be the new, the new tank here. All right, this dry fit, dry fitter, so should be ready in about six weeks. I'll take a video of that because I have a lot of ideas for it. Thank you.